Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Mendoza. Happy, happy Thursday. We have one more day till the weekend, so I'm super excited for you and for you to um, be congratulated for a very productive week. Um, just a few things. We have Crazy Hair Challenge continuing. We have some <laughs> really amazing facial expressions and crazy haircuts on our Pixton characters. Please continue to change that um, so that everyone is participating even virtually through this little challenge, crazy hair challenge. We have some exciting news. So we have 15 scholars whose parents gave me permission to start synchronous learning. Our very first Google Meet will be tomorrow, Friday, May 15th at 2 p.m. I will give you the link. Just make sure you stand by and um, be ready. There is a very important um, email that came to your parents this morning, outlining them of some of the expectations um, that you need to know before our first Google Meet. And if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. Um, secondly, if you saw me uh, maybe walking around your neighborhood today with Miss Miller, um, you are right. So I was handing out registration flyers to many, many, many houses um, yesterday. Um, there was a handful of teachers. You know, we, we were just a few of us that were advertising for new scholars to come to Parkway. So I wanted to help. And so if you saw me yesterday walking around, you are absolutely right. That was me. Um, here is the link for, again, for to register for next year. So if you have anybody who needs to register and we want them to register really, really, really soon so we can plan for next year, please have them click here and then all the different languages and all that stuff will be there for them. Crazy Hair Week continues. Uh, don't forget to change your pics and avatar. We have Haley with her crazy hair and something with Katalia. I think something he ate was a little too spicy. Um, just kidding. Uh, in math, we'll continue with money. We have Knowledge Hook Game Shows. It will be at 11 a.m. today. I'm trying to cut back to just one game because our um, projected time for Google Meetings will be two to three. So I want to give that time for that. In reading and writing, we'll continue learning through our science units. And yesterday's puzzle was um, Madame Weaver actually had two very valuable books. So when she had a book worth $50,000, she destroyed it purposely because by destroying one of them, this made the other book a lot more valuable. Okay, um, so good thinking there. A huge shout out to our amazing Grade 5 scholars who participated in an independent science experiment yesterday. And they had to take five items, answer some simple questions, and to determine what type of matter it is based on its properties. So uh, some people <laughs> took butter, um, chocolate syrup, black cat, the <laughs> a box, um, beer, um, hopefully it was not open, uh, family picture, honey, jello, crackers, water. So that's just some of the items that they were that they used for their observation yesterday. So well done, grade fives. And if you scroll all the way down to our our little optional activities today, we have the Disney workout. So it's pretty cool. It looks something like this. Um, there's different Disney characters, and you can certainly do it for ten minutes, five minutes, up to you. Um, so there's Dash, there's Gaston, there's Dory. Um, so sometimes you might need a yoga mat or so, but you're just going to do these simple little um, activities and movement. So you can have, so you just do your best to do a few of these. My kids are going to try to do a few of them um, for you, and then you can get an idea of what they would look like. But again, some pretty cool Disney workouts. Um, Disney theme workouts. So maybe think of a number that you could do, maybe 10 squat jumps or 10 of these Aladdin lunch jumpings um, and see how many you could do um, all together. Or maybe you give yourself a timer and then you do as much as you can. And moving, we have our lateral thinking puzzle. So this is how to beat Usain Bolt. So Mr. Hallman, I don't know if you know him, but uh, 
or familiar of him, but he is um, uh, an Ironman. So he does a lot of marathons and running and swimming. And uh, he actually com- is eligible to compete in Hawaii in, I believe, October or November of this year for his age group. Long story short, he is amazing, um, very athletic. But anyways, Mr. Hamon challenged the Olympic 100 meter sprint champion to a race over a short distance, which is Usain Bolt, on the condition that he be allowed to choose the course. How does Mr. Hamon manage to beat Usain Bolt? Hmm, so he gets to choose the course. Hmm. Mashup map, they have TT1L, two truths, one lie. Choose which statement is a lie and tell me why. And we have the bridge challenge still to go and. French with an M, we will be an optional activity and drama and dance. Your exit ticket for today is quite simple. And um, it has Usain Bolt on it. And uh, do your best to complete it. And again, your one little thing that is different is what is one thing you wish you had more time to do from today's task board? That's the one little difference from the other daily exit tickets that you have. Anyways, have a great day, and if you have any questions, concerns, please let me know. Take care.